Hey, welcome to this Windows channel, and this is the Patch Tuesday. We are June 12th, 2018, and this is the second Tuesday of the month. That means that we have security updates for Windows 7, Windows 8.1, and uh, various versions of Windows 10. So, what do we have on the security side? On the security side, Windows 7 has nine flaws. Two are critical, seven important. Windows 8.1 has eight security vulnerabilities. There are two that are rated critical, six are important. And with those 10, version 1607 has 25 flaws, four critical, 21 important. Uh, 1703, which is creator's update, 25 flaws, three critical, Fall Creators Update, 27 flaws, 4 rated critical, and 23 important. And if you're on the latest uh, April 2018 update, version 1803, we have 26 flaws, 4 critical, and 22 important. What's the difference between crit critical and important? Critical means they are really probably exploited by bad guys. They're easy to actually exploit. And the important ones are, you got to fix them but uh, no immediate danger. So, you know, you gotta update your system. I installed uh, this update uh, that came through my system. I'm on 18.03 here. So it gave me uh, this update here, which is cumulative update for Windows 10 version 18.03, uh, KB428-4835. Uh, and this was, of course, the update, the latest update that we've had uh, for our Windows operating system. I decided to do a separate video for what is the, um, you know, what the bug fixes, if there are any in here, because uh, there are some bug fixes for Windows 10 April 2018 update. There's actually a few bug fixes for every version of Windows, but um, I wanted to uh, kind of separate that. So check it out. The uh, Windows update is out now and you should actually have all of these fixes. So the different products that are affected by uh, the security uh, fixes are uh, in the security side, Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, Microsoft Scripting Engine, Windows Desktop Bridge, Windows Apps, Windows Shell, Windows Kernel, Windows Server, Windows Storage and File Systems, Windows Wireless Networking, remote code execution, and Windows virtualization and kernel. So um, check it out. It's available now. It installed flawlessly on my machine. It was a pretty quick install. It probably took, you know, download and install all of it. Maybe, um, I don't know, I don't think more than 10 minutes. It was a pretty quick uh, install. And uh, it will keep your system safe. So check out your updates. They're available right now. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Thank you for watching.